experience of living on water was not what it is today. The gentle lapping of water on your doorstep is considered the lap of luxury. That or a not so subtle clue that no one knows something you don't. Building your home on the edge of the sea or a lagoon guarantees two things. You'll own the view as far as your eye can see, and if you ever sell, your return will be handsome. More so if the area is steeped in history, like Neisner's Tyson Islands. The architectural guidelines dictate a colonial maritime architectural style. That's a style based on the colonial architecture that you find all around the eastern seaboard of the United States and Australia, the West Indies and those areas. Over a century ago, the structure of the first timber homes had practical guidelines. The width of the house was set down by the length of the logs that fitted in an ox wagon. Today, the rules are based on aesthetics, with colors inspired by sand, shell and water. Ian, qualified in forestry, and architect wife Marinda, were the perfect team to design this cladded home. The wide open waterways outside are matched by spacious interiors, featuring high ceilings and double volume living areas. We've used lighting here to create layers in the volume. So what we've done is we've used up lighters on elements like the exposed flue, we used down lighters on paintings, for instance on the staircase, and then we used general light to light up the space. And that's given us a warm feeling in the volume using the different layers of light. Ceiling lights echo the shape of elongated butterfly cocoons, a reminder that nature's just beyond the glass. The space is contemporary, but not overly modern. It's an open plan kitchen, which directly opens onto the dining room, the living areas, and of course from the kitchen, you relate directly to the deck outside and to the waterways and to people on their boats. And it's just got that lovely, airy, easy living style. A double-sided fireplace is practical and subtly demarcates living areas, inviting you to see different perspectives. As you can see from where we're sitting, there's beautiful colors to work with outside, the greens, the light browns, and the color of the water, which we've definitely brought into the house using soft greens on the walls and then tones thereof. The floor is a lovely soft brown, and we've pull that also into the decorating of the house, into the fabrics, which then complements the artwork and the rest of the accessories. A neutral palette inside, created with travertine floors and walls in a shade of creamed honey, allows for exterior drama. Water reflects a changing sky and the seasonal colors of the surrounding landscape. Fiber optics imitate a night sky in ceilings and are even concealed in the shower rows to add that extra sparkle to the experience, while architectural lines cleverly guide your eye outward. Because you've got that amazing advantage of being in such a special place on the water and that whole lifestyle that's associated with that, it is important to create that relaxed atmosphere and being able to live from the inside to the outside so that whole space becomes your home.